Hey guys, J.R. Raymond back again at the training center in TurboTech in Chesterfield, Michigan. You ever walk into the pro shop and you see this big wall of bowling balls and you look underneath each one and you see these sheets with all these numbers and data on it and you really don't know what it means? Well, we're going to talk about that here in a minute, so stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. So pretty soon we're going to be putting together some videos, or I have started putting some videos together about how to build an arsenal. And I want to build an arsenal based on the data and the numbers that are behind bowling balls. So when you walk into a pro shop and you see these numbers, the RG, the differential, all that stuff, I want you to be able to have a general understanding of what those numbers mean so you can make a little bit better decision on what type of bowling ball you have. So what I've done is, uh, this is going to be more of an opinion piece for all of these arsenal type uh, deals that I'm going to do, but what I like to do is I'm going to show you and I'm going to kind of break this down for you a little bit on how I try to number bowling balls. Because everybody kind of wants to look at a bowling ball and say, okay, uh, there's the hook rating. You watch the PBA shows, they have the hook rating from 1 to 10, and this ball's an 8, this ball's a 9, but... Can't we kind of get it a little bit more detailed than that, than just a one through nine and then trying to fill gaps there? What I've done is I've actually taken the numbers of the RG and the differential um, and took in the RG and subtracted the differential uh, in whole numbers to get a specific number and then put them in a list. I'm going to show you that list here so you can see it um, and kind of take a look. And then I, right now I just have the EBI balls done. Uh, from all four companies of, from Ebonite International. Um, and you can kind of take a look at those numbers and you can see the total score number, which basically is the overall strength. The lower that number at the total score, the, the more overall hook you're going to see out of the ball. The earlier and the stronger that bowling ball generally is going to be. The higher that number, you start getting into the, the 219, 220, 221, rather than the 195, 194, that area. You can see a big gap difference there between the bowling balls that are meant to go further down lane and be stronger down lane than the ones that are meant to roll earlier. So how do they make that happen? Well, the RG is actually the number. We're not going to get into the details of what radius of gyration means and all that stuff, because if you want to know that, go to Google, search it, you know, whatever you want to do to try to figure out what that means. I'm just going to dumb it down. What RG is going to do is it's going to tell you and it's going to determine how early that core is meant to roll. So that's going to be your early front to back. Uh, motion that you're looking for there. The lower the RG, the more overall earliness of that core, you're going to see it get into a roll a whole lot quicker than a higher RG ball will. So now when you look at the differential, we're going to look at uh, the higher the differential, the more overall flare potential. So those rings that get around the ball from the oil, and you can see the more flare you have, the wider those rings get, and the more bowling ball those rings cover. So the higher the flare potential, the more change of direction you're going to see with the bowling ball on the lane. So um, the lower the differential, the less flare, the little bit straighter the ball is going to go. So it is possible to have a low RG that's meant to roll super early and a low differential ball that's going to um, not flare very much. So you're going to watch it kind of hook and then just be real blah going down lane for the most part. And those type of bowling balls are really good for shorter patterns, whereas you can get the the higher differential, you get into the, um, the like the 253, 254, you just get those numbers a little bit higher with a higher different or with a higher, yeah, higher differential. Uh, I think I said differential, I meant RG. Higher RG with a higher differential. So you get a little bit later down lane and a little bit stronger ball reaction. If you put those together, you can get it cleaner through the front, a little bit more down lane. So um, let's take a look at some of these bowling balls and take a look at how you can put this stuff together. And then in the next video, we are going to talk about um, how to build an arsenal and how to take a look at um, what bowling balls you may need and what areas and what numbers you may want. So again, for all you experts, all the pro shop experts out there, I know that this data, it's not going to be 100% flawless. It's going to show some errors in it because you're going to look at it and be like, well, this number doesn't make sense because this ball is really not as strong as this number says. There's a few bowling balls that kind of fall into that range um, just simply because it's, it's in a low, it's in the low end market. And yet the numbers are, you know, super low to make it a much stronger ball than what it really should be. So 
Um, but that's okay. This at least gives you something to look at and to kind of compare ball to ball and start to fill gaps. We want to come up with a way to be able to put a number to the ball. So if you have a bowling ball that's like at 191 overall total, you take in the RG, subtract the differential to get 191, that's going to be an early strong ball. And then you have uh, your weaker ball that is, you know, say, um, ends up being 224 with the RG minus the differential. Now that's a much, you know, weaker bowling ball, a little cleaner bowling ball. Now we can fill the gaps in between those two numbers and create an arsenal based on these numbers instead of just saying, okay, this is what we got. Now, granted, this is going to be mostly just core definition. We're just looking at the core at this point. Obviously, the cover stock is quite a bit more important than the core, but when we're talking about the core, these are the important pieces for uh, that determine basically your, your pin carry to be able to get through the pins a little bit better and to be able to choose the correct ball with the correct core and then manipulating the surface to do what you want front to back, um, uh, getting it to read the right part of the lane so that way you can get the ball to go through the pins the right way. So knowing these numbers is actually very important once you get to a, you know, a higher level. It may not be so important in league, but um, if you're trying to build a three or a six ball arsenal, this makes it a whole lot easier. So kind of pay attention to these numbers. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about it as we go through some of the Arsenal videos. So uh, I hope this kind of helps you understand a little bit more what the RG and differential mean. Uh, again, I didn't want to get into too many specifics and too much detail. If you want to know what RG and differential truly mean, go Google it. It'll, you'll be able to find out right there. It's just radius and gyration. Um, and they'll be able to give you all the scientific facts about it. But to me, it doesn't really matter. I just want to know what that means in my bowl and ball reaction, and that's what you should really care about too. But if you are the technical guy, go take a look. But until next time, guys, we will get a next, the next video will be the Arsenal video here coming up soon. So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you subscribe to Turbo 201 Grips page. And I'm going to tell you what, you guys, if you haven't already subscribed to Brad, Brad and Kyle's page, I know most of you probably already do. Make sure to head over to Brad and Kyle's page and check that out. They did some awesome videos over the World Series of Bowling these past week. Um, Kyle made a couple of shows. Brad bowled really good all week. So it was pretty cool to see. And they put some awesome footage together to be able to let you guys kind of have more of an inside look. I was going to put some videos like that together, um, but I didn't really want to. I guess I could do a different perspective of my own based on them, but they do such a good job. I didn't want to. I don't want to bombard the, the area with that. So um, go take a look at their videos. They're really cool. And uh, make sure you subscribe. So we will see you guys later.